just just one more thing. Mm -hmm. I think also uh, this particular story, this particular issue, this one of uh, this restaurant, it also uh, brings into focus the, the mentality or the attitude of the, our so-called leaders. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether this is true, but uh, all the reportage has been like, oh, one of the, the only the Nairobi senator yes. and actually a former minister, minister. for tourism. Mm -hmm. These are the only two people actually who are allowed in because they are friends. Yeah, but. I mean, <laughs> this is somebody, you're a whole, 20, you're a senator, you're the risk, you, you have this rescue thing and all that. Then what are you doing? I mean, you can't even raise a, raise a finger or whatever when your people are being oppressed. Then what are you, what is this that you're out to rescue? Mm -hmm. And the same thing that actually um, uh, the former minister for tourism, who at some point had to, had problems with the grading of, uh, the, the, the grading of hotels and all that. I mean, this is something he, he, he should have understood that actually this is not how it's supposed to be done. Mm -hmm. And you're the same, same people who are, you go to this place, you see fellow Africans being turned away, and you don't speak about it. But the thing is, and maybe. So that angle, I don't know whether we've, we've t t probably sought, what we need to do is probably seek out the, the, the Nairobi senator right. and seek out uh, the, fo the former, the former <laughs> minister for tourism mm -hmm. and, uh, information and find out actually if it is true. Yes, because I'm sure the argument might be that they didn't know, but the fact that they're silent even now. How come they did not questions. know? They, they cannot they be in a restaurant in Nairobi and there you are a hundred, a hundred, a hundred patrons, and you're the only two blacks. I mean, okay. it's not exclusive. Let's, let's not move away from the issues of our coverage.